guys, Nerdy Noob here, and I have a special edition unboxing video for you. I have no idea why I have this box. Literally have no idea. Anytime Luke Cake comes out with a new box, it's like automatic for me to want to get it, even if I don't like it. There's been a couple that I don't touch, like the Firefly crate and things like that, but for some reason this came out and I felt obligated to buy it. And uh, I guess that's how it works with the world today. Anyways, in this video, I'm going to be unboxing the Loot Crate Loot for Fangirls box. Now, I thought that this was an actual, like, sub box, like I was going to get it monthly, but then I just realized, and it was kind of expensive, that this is not a sub box. This is a uh, special edition crate that they have. So I paid... I don't know how much I paid for this box. I mean, I know how much I paid for it. It says I paid $60.22 because I live in California, so they charge tax. But on this little site, it says it's going to be $65. So I wonder... Okay, so if you go online and buy this box, it costs $64.99. I think that it only cost me $60.22 because I'm pretty sure I went online and used a coupon. Uh, I haven't said this in a while. If you're getting any sub box, you should find a coupon. I don't know, like I know on my thing for Loot Crate, I have a link that you can go to. I know it doesn't give you a discount, but if you're gonna buy something from Loot Crate, you can use my link down below, and then you can go online and literally search like Loot Crate coupon, and then when you're checking out, you can like put that coupon into your cart, and uh, then you get a few dollars off. And usually it takes a few different coupons just to try to figure out which one works, but it's definitely worth it just to get, you know, a couple dollars off, I think, at least. Maybe it's because I have a million sub boxes. Anyways, um, we're going to say that this box costs $65 because that's how much it is listed online for. If you're interested in getting it, they still have it available. I will put the link below with all of the pricing details for you. All right, here we go. I already kind of like, I was on the website trying to look at prices and I kind of saw like nails and stuff and I was like, oh, <laughs> is this what this is going to be? So I have no idea. But... Uh, here we go. Once you get the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. This looks very, very jumbled and mishmashed. Mishmatched. Mistmatched. Mismatched. I'm assuming that this is gonna be almost like the level up, the, the accessories, or what do they call it? Loot for her now? I also found out today that they don't call it the level up anymore. It's called the loot wear. Can't keep up. Anyways, here we go. I don't know what that is. Let's not do that. The first item we have is a Walking Dead item. This is a charm bracelet. So there's a bunch of different charms on this thing. This one says, we don't leave anyone behind. And it's basically like a sword, a knife, a skull, a flower. <clears throat> there's one that says AMC because why not? All right, so there you go. There's the charm bracelet. This is not a BioWorld product. This is a Loot Crate and Walking Dead exclusive. Oh, this is actually kind of nice. <clears throat> the next item that we have is this um, purse. Oh, it's a Star Trek item. Let's see. Oh, this is so cool. Ah, uh, I don't, I don't use like little purses like this usually, but this is freaking cool. All right, so this item is super cool. I wish I used like little purses more, but this is like a little purse. Now this is a Star Trek item, and I'm assuming it's to commemorate the 50th anniversary, because if you look at the insignia here, it says 50. Yeah, 50. And what I love about this is it's it's like themed off of their, uh, their like uniform. I don't know what you'd call it. Yeah, they're like uniform thing. And uh, yeah, it's like, it's, I don't know. I love things that look like other things, so I like this. And then this is, let's see, what do they have? They got a, a couple little charms. Here's the Enterprise. There's an Enterprise charm. And then there's also a, an Uhura charm. And this is the old school Uhura, which I don't know if, like, my dad had all the Star Trek uh, DVDs, right? So I took season one home with me to watch it. And I was watching it like, what is this? I don't know if anyone's ever gone back and watched the original Star Trek, like season one. It is hilarious. Like it looks like something that I could have filmed in my backyard. Like 
I think it's a like the production is it's awesome and it's I mean obviously it was made a long time ago so I get it but going back and watching the first season was like <laughs> How did this get anybody's attention? Like, this is crazy. But I did watch the whole thing, and it was, you know, it kept my attention, I guess. I was interested. Anyways, this is a cool item. Uh, let's see if this is... I think this is more... I know I said it was like a small purse. purse. I think this is more of like a clutch. So it would just be something that you kind of put your stuff in, and then you clutch it. This is like the same size as my wristlet. You probably could put like a little wristlet thing on here, too. I don't know how sturdy this thing would be though if you put a lot of stuff in it. But this is very cool. So there you go, you have a Star Trek clutch. The next item that we got is Fangirls, a coloring book for girls that like stuff. So it's basically a coloring book. Let's see what they have in here. Now this is not like a coloring book of superheroes or anything. It's like just random, like this is Logical Lucy. She likes science and the vastness of space and dislikes illogical thinking. This is, uh, I'm re I relate to this girl. This is Kitten Katie. Kitten Katie likes cat hair solutions and kitten videos. She dislikes shredded furniture and people who don't like cats. How? So there's that. And then I'm assuming that this goes with, yeah. So this is like a teeny, like it's like a set of, um, six teeny tiny little colored pencils. They're like really small. These are like little golf pencils. I kind of don't see the point of even including these in this. Like, give us full size pencils. This is not going to last very long. Like, what's the point? Just give us full size pencils or don't give us pencils at all. Alright, next we have this little tin can thing. It's Lil DC Comics Bombshells Vinyl Figure. These are the ones that you can get. I hope that I get, I don't know who I hope I get. I guess Wonder Woman or Harley Quinn or maybe Flash. Let's see. Oh, never mind. I just looked at the lid and it says Metallic Wonder Woman. So I'm assuming that we all got Metallic Wonder Woman. That's okay. I mean, that was one of the ones that I said I wanted. So let's open this up. I apologize guys, it's, it's 6 in the morning again and I rolled out of bed to film this video, so just in case you were wondering. Alright, here we go. Here is Metallic Wonder Woman. She's, I guess, metallic-y. Like, a little bit. There's like a little bit to her that's a little bit shiny. That's kind of cool. I actually like this. I like the simplicity. I like that it has good detail. It stands up. You guys know I'm not a huge fan of DC Comics, but I like, I just like this whole setup. Like I like the tin can it comes in. It wasn't super mystery. I don't know if this is a mystery thing because obviously it told us. I mean, maybe in general it's a mystery thing, but this one's just a limited edition one. A Loot Crate exclusive. All right, next we have nail wraps, which I definitely don't use. These are from Borderlands and this is of Moxie. So for those of you who don't know, and I really don't know, so I don't know if I should be the one telling you this, but these are like, nail stickers that you like put on and they're like nail polish but stickers and then the last item no yes the last item that we have is this I don't know what this is let's see oh it's a shirt it's a shirt no it's not it's a dress this is a dress oh this is not gonna fit me what size is this not that I, not that I wear dresses let's be real hold on let me show you this to you Okay, so this is a dress. Oh, it's Marvel, so that's cool. Let me show you the bottom of the dress so you can see the characters. So there's one side. Let me see if they have the same character. No, they have different characters. And then this is the back side. Uh, this dress is actually really cool. I like this. I actually like the style of it. I like the simplicity. This would be totally something that you could rock at like a Comic-Con. I don't wear dresses, which is the problem. But, I guess if I ever did have to wear a dress, I could probably rock this. Now, I got a large because usually in women's clothing I wear large. So this probably would fit me. I'm not going to try it on if you were hoping for that. That's not going to happen. Um, but yeah, there you go. Alright, let's see if I can name a few of these characters off. I'm sure this is not going to go well. So, I see Captain Marvel. There she is. She's like front and center. Let's see who else do we have. Oh wait. 
On both sides, they do have the same characters. I'm sorry. I'm kind of confused on how this is working. Wait, no, they don't. Do they? Yeah, they kind of do. I don't know. I guess it's kind of reoccurring design. There's the She-Hulk. And then I saw Miss Marvel. So there's Miss Marvel, who is, what would you guys call her name? It was like Khan, Camille Khan. I don't know. Sorry, I butchered that. Sorry. Also known as Miss Marvel. Oh, look. Look. It is duplicate. There it is. Can you see the duplicates? Oh, okay. So I thought that the designs were different. Why did I think that? Oh, it's the same design. It's a freaking same design. What the heck? Ripped off. I like how on this dress, I mean, I know that they use this thing, like on the front of it, there's this big giant gaping hole, but on this side, it's like the design reconnects. It's like almost somebody didn't center the design very well. All right, that's all I'm going to do. Because I really don't know. You guys know I'm not super familiar. Ow. Oh, with um, the women of Marvel. I'm learning about them, though. I'm just not super, super, super familiar with them. That's all the items in the box. It also came with our card, and there's like a bunch of stickers on the bottom of this. Ooh, that holding up that dress made my arm super tired. Oh, okay, let's do a recap. Uh, okay, we had our exclusive Borderlands Mad Moxie Nail Wraps. We had our exclusive DC Bombshells Wonder Woman minifigure. That was a tin can, and there's the figure. We had our bonus exclusive Fan Girls, a coloring book for girls that like stuff, plus the colored pencils. We had our exclusive Women of Marvel skater dress. Oh, I guess it's supposed to be like that in the front where there's like a patch missing from the design. So I take that back. I take it back. But there you go. Uh, I guess this is the style of dress is called a skater. Skater dress? Again, I don't really wear dresses, so I, I don't know. But this is actually a cool dress. Like, if I was going to wear it, I'm glad it came out like this because I would probably wear that. Um, I wouldn't use it to skate in, though. We got our exclusive Star Trek Uhura clutch bag. I was pretty spot on with that. I'm kind of excited. Look at me, knowing clutch bags. Anyways, there's your clutch bag, your little Uhura charm. Oh, there. And then the last item we got is our exclusive, The Walking Dead. Oh, it's, oh, these little charms represent all the girl characters. I don't, I guess there's only two girl characters. Michonne and Carol. So there you go. All right, that's all the items. Where's my calculator? Pricing. Oh, this is going to be so hard to price. Charm bracelet. I'm going to go ahead and give that uh, $6. It's probably going to be like $12 somewhere else, but $6. The bombshell figure, I'll give that uh, I'll give that $6. Usually I give mini figures $5.50, but that one, I like the whole setup with the tin can and everything, so it can get 50 cents more. I wasn't a huge fan of this um, coloring book, and I don't want to knock the authors of this because it's a cool coloring book. I think this is a little bit more for little kids, and that's kind of the thing. Like, I don't know if this is meant for little kids. I don't think it is. So I felt like they could have given us cartoon versions of, like, actual superheroes, which I guess they can't really do that because then there would be licensing issues. This is basically just of random people who like certain things. So there, it's kind of cool and then kind of like, uh, um, I'll give that, I'll give that six dollars. I'm gonna be extremely nice about that and give it six dollars because I think they probably worked really hard on it. Uh, the nail wraps, I don't know how much nail wraps go for but these, since these are like actual like licensed things, I'll go ahead and give this, I don't know if this is licensed actually, I'm gonna give this four dollars. Uh, I don't know how much dresses cost, but this is a cool dress, and it is Marvel. So I'm going to say probably $20 for the dress. I really don't know, but I'm going to give it $20. Now, this thing is definitely my favorite item by far in this box, and I would give this thing, it's probably $30, I can imagine, but I'm going to give it $20. I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. I have no idea how to price these things. Okay, according to my pricing, this box is worth $62. Technically, it cost $65, so it technically didn't hit its value based off of my pricing, but I'm gonna. the biggest disclaimer is that I have no idea how much any of this stuff costs. I don't buy any, like, I don't buy dresses, so you. I, I'm sure some of you are going to be like, that, that's $30. I have no idea. I do think, though, that this, I gave this 
would I give it 20? You probably could give this thing $30. I really like this thing, and you probably could give this $30. The material is not the, like, greatest. It's like the the fake leather, but I still like this a lot. Um, by far my favorite product in the box. But, yeah, I think that if you were to price this more realistically of how much things cost in store, it would be more expensive. I really just don't know how much any of this stuff costs. I just kind of guessed. Uh, so sorry if that was very unhelpful. Please feel free to go online and look up the items and see how much they're going for. Like, I could look up this dress. What is this dress called? All right, this dress is going for, there was only one, $35. Okay, so I gave it 20, so you could add more to that if you wanted to. The Uhura Clutch, 25 to $30. So you can add another $10 to that if you wanted. So at the end of the day, you probably did get your value because my pricing was low, obviously. On the lowest end, you almost got your value based off of my pricing, but you definitely could give a lot more value to some of these items. So I think you definitely hit your value. I don't know how much extra value you get because the pricing that I looked up is eBay pricing, so it just depends on if things are actually selling for that price or if people are just listing it for that price because there is a difference between the two. I can I can list things. I could list this box for $600, but it doesn't mean that it's worth $600 because is anyone actually paying $600 for it? But, um, you know, surprisingly, this actually wasn't a terrible box. I was a little bit worried uh, when I got it. I was like, what, what, what am I doing? Um, it has really cool items in it, and I actually like that. I really like the Star Trek clutch. I'm, like, a huge fan of that. If I ever need to use a clutch, I'm going to use that. I think it's a great conversation starter. I just, I, and it just, it's so cool. Like, I like that. Um... That was by far my favorite item in the box. The dress was actually pretty cool too. I wish I wore dresses more, but I don't. But it's a cool dress. Um, the other stuff was okay. Uh, I like the Wonder Woman figure. I wasn't a huge fan of the coloring book or the nail wraps or the Walking Dead bracelet just because I don't watch Walking Dead. But it was a decent box actually. If I had to rate it, so for me personally, I would probably give this box a 3.75 out of 5 noobs. Only because I'm just not super into like the girl thing. You know what? The 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 Star Trek clutch could probably make it a 4. But I'm going to say 3.75 out of 5 noobs. Um, just because it's not necessarily my style. But if you're just any average person who likes you know, like, kind of the girly things in this, you probably could give this box a 4, maybe a 4.25 out of 5 noobs. I don't know how high you want to get because I really don't know how much extra value you're really getting for this box. I think it just depends on on what, if this box is your style or not. But it's actually a pretty cool box. I'm excited I got it. Um, I'm excited I got to show it to you. I really like the clutch a lot. Like, like that to me is worth it. So I'm a fan. Luckily this isn't a normal sub box. So I don't know how long I would keep it if it was like a month to month box. But I think it's a cool idea for just a special edition box. So good job Loot Crate. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more boxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. This is the first box in a while that I've had that's really geared towards women, which is nice because I've noticed recently when I look at my analytics that my I used to be pretty even between the men and women that watch my channel and lately it's been really swayed towards men and a lot less women. I think it's like a 60-40 now. It used to be about 50-50. Um, so that was kind of surprising to me. And then I realized that I really don't do anything that's like, that is like geared towards women. And when I saw this, I kind of like, was like, oh, that's a cool idea. And hopefully, you know, this is something that the women that watch my channel will enjoy because I know a lot of the other boxes are not women or men, obviously, but I know that it's just, kind of all the same and uh, yeah I think that this is something kind of cool for us women so yeah if you're a woman that watches my channel let me know what you thought about this box or if you're a guy it doesn't matter let me know what you guys thought about this box did anyone else get it it didn't seem like on eBay there wasn't that many like people selling the item so either people bought the box and liked the items and didn't want to sell it or there's just not that many people who bought this box. Who knows? It's still on sale, so if you really liked it, you can get it. Um, but yeah, let me know what you thought about it. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my Thank You to Subscribers page, which is coming up right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!